Hello Tollgate campers. Today's episode we are in the kitchen and we are going to make hardtack, also known as ship's biscuit. And this was a type of very, very hard bread that could last long periods of time without becoming moldy or rotting or being infested by bugs. So it is really nice to have around. If you're going hiking, you can carry a couple biscuits. And if you really want to, uh, you can crush it up and use it like flour. So uh, here I have measured out 12 grams of salt, just regular old salt. I have six ounces of flour, which is gonna make three two ounce biscuits. And any amount of water will do. You just wanna make sure that you have enough so that when you mix it into the flour and the salt, It'll be enough to make a stiff dough. So, you're just going to pour the salt into the flour and then mix it. And then add enough water until you have the right mixture. The nice thing about hardtack is that the measurements aren't exact. It's just about this much so if you wanted to do a larger batch you could do about this much flour and about this much salt or you could do about this much flour and this much salt for a smaller batch and if you just want to make one big biscuit or do some experiments you could use about this much flour and about this much salt so all I did was I measured out three ounce pieces because uh, the water adds weight, of course, and so does the extra flour that you need to add so that it doesn't um, stick to your hands. Uh, so I rolled the three ounce uh, pieces into balls, and then I just flattened them, and I poked about ten holes in them. And that's just so that they don't uh, swell too much and pop, because if there are any air bubbles in there, they could ruin your batch. And now we're just going to stick them in the oven at uh, 350 degrees for three to three and a half hours, or 300 to 350, it's not an exact science. Uh, and then I'm going to pull them out, let them cool, and go for another three hours on a lower temperature. See you then. You don't need to use any sort of special oven for cooking this. I'm just using my toaster oven because it's small and it heats up fast. So every once in a while during the cooking, you want to check on your hard pack and make sure that nothing's burned or swelling too much. And if it is, this one looks like it's a bit swollen. So I think I'm just gonna prick it a couple times to release any hot gases. So here is our finished hard tack. Uh, you can see that I broke one to look at the inside and I actually did it wrong. I put it on 325 and I think that my toaster oven went hotter. So you're going to want to cook yours at 300 and then let it cool down after the 3 hour cooking time. And then put it back in at somewhere around 250 for another 2-3 to three hours. Uh, if you want to eat this, you can eat it uh, just like it is, but that will most likely hurt your teeth and I wouldn't really call it pleasant uh, you could soak it in water or milk so that it softens up and then it'll be easier to eat or you could crush it up to a fine dust and use it like flour <laughs>